now to Congressman Elliot Engel, senior Democrat on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. I guess part of the buried lead here, Congressman, is that you're agreeing with Ted Cruz on this, who calls this move by the Iranians uh, willfully, deliberately insulting, contemptuous. And you are opposed as well. Uh, but why? Uh, you can understand the outrage of those who are held hostage, but at a certain point, it'd be hard pressed to find anybody in Iran's diplomatic corps that you could talk to in good conscience without uh, seeing them as an enemy in some way. Well, let me just say that if uh, Ted Cruz and Elliot Engel agree on something, it's got to be right. Um, uh, look, um, this, this fellow, um, by being an interpreter for the group that um, took American hostages, was certainly complicit in their um, capture. And I just think it's a, a, a terrible insult to the United States at a time when Iran is talking with us, uh, purportedly to do that in good faith. Uh, Iran continues to make mischief and wreak havoc in other places of the world. Uh, they are negative in Syria. They, they are a major funder of Hezbollah terrorist organization. They continue to do that with impunity. And now this, which is a real a slap in the face. Uh, the Iranians should withdraw the nomination and should send uh, somebody else because this, uh, all of us that were alive at the time uh, remember that hostage crisis and that is not something I think that we can just turn a, a blind eye toward. Do you think a move like this comes from President Rouhani who many want to believe is a moderate or is this something from the, the, the Supreme Leader, the Ayatollah? Make well, a call like this. Well, we have no way of knowing. It's obvious that the Supreme Leader uh, is, the, is the final uh, decision maker uh, on things like this. Um, I've always said that Rouhani, uh, it's not clear to me that, that he can make uh, any of these decisions without the blessings of the Supreme uh, Leader. Um, it, it's just very, very troubling. It's a slap in the face to, to Americans, and uh, it ought to be withdrawn. And, uh, you know, it's very difficult for us to, to block a diplomat from coming in, but uh, if, it's, if it's proven that, that, that he was part and parcel of it, I, I would, uh, would, would, would urge uh, our authorities yeah. to, to deny him entry into the country. I was looking at the rules. We have a 60-plus year agreement with the United Nations that we have to pretty much let anybody in, but they are limited to a 25-mile radius of Manhattan. Uh, so which means they can't go to Disneyland, but they, they can get into your district, uh, Congressman. But right. let me ask you about uh, whether this sort of thing throws a wrench into our nuclear disarmament talks. Do you think this is a deal breaker? And with, with, as you said, so much going on with Russia, with Syria, but for the nukes, is this a problem? Well, it's a problem. It's a problem for me uh, in that, again, if Iran is negotiating with us in good faith, and let me say, I hope these talks with Iran uh, are successful. I want them to be successful. But I have my, my grave doubts because, you know, first of all, while these talks are going on, Iran continues to enrich. Uh, that's troubling. And secondly, as I just uh, stated, there are events going on in, in Syria in that terrible civil war where Iran is, is, is part and parcel of, of, of the starvation and the, the, uh, of, of the civilian population. And uh, they continue to support Hezbollah, which is a terrorist organization. So it's as if the Iranians are thumbing their nose at us and saying, well, you know, we're going to negotiate with you, but we're not going to uh, change any of our bad behavior while we're negotiating. It seems to me if you're really serious in having uh, negotiations that are fruitful, you'd, you'd stop uh, some of the outrageous behavior and sending this diplomat to New York uh, as their representative, representative to the UN is just another indication that the Iranians think they can get away with anything. And that, I think, is an ominous sign for their seriousness in these, peace, in these nuclear talks. You didn't even mention the fake American aircraft carrier they're building, for, perhaps for propaganda purposes, but we'll have to save that for another show, Congressman okay. Engel. Thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank you. It.